When I traveled back to Malaysia two years ago, my good friend bought me these amazing snacks. They were salted egg flavored cornflakes. I tasted it and it blew my mind. So I go out to the supermarket and I look for them. I couldn't find any. So I said, bro, where do you find all these amazing Malaysian snacks? And he said, the best snacks are all at the petrol station. And I was like, what? So today, we are gonna go to all the petrol stations to find the best snacks in Malaysia. Say, hey, Zay, Zay. So, mommy and daddy is gonna go to so many different petrol stations. The rule for mommy and daddy is, when we go to each petrol station, we can only pick one snack each, okay? But, you and brother can also pick one special thing. Okay, it can be fun things, it can be snacks, it can be anything, okay? First up, we are in Shell, in Klang. Let's go. Ooh, semi-fried dates? Hmm. Dried, not fried. Oh. Okay, from first petrol station, we have Mariami's semi-dried dates. So I personally am not gonna try this because I do not like dates. So I don't know the difference try between semi-dried and fully dried, but let's try it. Because if I if I give a rating of this, it's confirmed this, but you know it might mm. be really good. Good? It's really good. So thumbs up, thumbs side. Thumbs up! Ooh, okay, okay. I think it's just like nice and juicy, but it's so sweet. Mm -hmm. Like I Yeah? Yeah. Okay, great. Next up we have Karopo Anis or Karepe Anis. Mm. It's just your average uh, curry pay. There's nothing really special about this and nothing outstanding. I think I would give it a thumbs to the side. Yeah, maybe even like a little slightly more. Mm -hmm. It's um, a nice little... more down. To me, it's a little muscle onion. Yeah, it's a little stale. That's right. It's a little muscle onion. So yeah, maybe go down a bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this place has a lot. We are refraining on, from ourselves because we only can get one thing. I always get the sweet thing, you always get savory. Savory, yeah. Okay, let's go. I will pick an egg. I will pick an egg. That egg, ask mama. I don't know what. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Want this egg? Can you have this? I don't know what's in it. Free sticker, uh, 3D figure, and candies. So, Zizi? Zizi, are you picking this one? Which one? This one right here? Okay, so next up here we are at Petron uh, and I like their little store name, it's called Treats. Um, and the first item here we got is this thing right here, which is Popia Simple Kase. I loved this snack growing up, I just never knew what the name was, but now I know. It's like a little knotted, really, just cute like this. Mmm. Straight thumbs up. Thumbs up. I love this so much. It has this rumpa udang thing inside. It's so good. Rachel's not a fan of that. No, no. I don't like shrimp crackers. I don't really. I like ikan beli semai nasi lemak, but like mm -hmm. that really fishy, fishy taste. Nope. So next up, we have. Mmm. You got a nice little treat right here. I did. Chocolate chip cookies by Cushy Bites. I feel like these are on the sweet side for Malaysia cookies. Mm -hmm. I realized as I was eating it, I was like, oh, these kind of have like almost an American sweetness level. It's actually really, really good, but yeah, it's on the sweeter side. So as a Malaysian, it tastes very good. Don't get me wrong. If you have a sweet tooth, this is like perfect for you. But I would, I'm going to give it a little thumbs to the corner just because I like my sweet things a little less sweet. Thumbs up. I would like to drink a cup of just black tea with this. Balance it out, you know? Oh, okay, you this is probably the most difficult so far. This one, honestly, is the most difficult. Look at how much things they have. 
What is this? <laughs> what else? What tarts? The crunchy cornflakes? Almond London? Cut. So many though, but we need to pick one. Oh, there's even more here. Misi put. Have you had misi put before or not? No. Oh, stress, okay, there's uh. So many choices. The stress. Fam, okay, um, we cheated a bit. We got three things because we couldn't help ourselves. <gasps> Forgive us, okay? First item is misi put plus sambal. This is what it looks like. Oh, wow. I would literally snack on this for like so long. I would just buy one big thing. Just eat little by little by little. This is so good. Good, right? Wow. Mm -hmm. I like this better than like eating like Mommy Monster, which is like the dry noodles. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, it has all the flavor of cooked noodles, but mm -hmm. it's fried. So it's got that crispy texture to it. Right. So I would give it not a thumbs up. I would give it a thumbs a little bit to the side just because it's all really, really close together. The oh. ones I used to eat growing up, they had more, yeah, more spacious. So it's easier to break. So this is kind of hard to break. I say thumbs up. I okay. want to try it with sambal, but it's too messy to do in the car. This is the one I really wanted because I love pineapple tarts. And I always bring them back home and I don't share with anyone. How is it? I tried to take a bite. Ooh, it's really like messy. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's not the best pineapple tart I had, but I'm kind of a pineapple tart, tart snob. It's good. So? Flaky, but it's honestly not sweet enough for me. Mm. I like Mama, it a little bit sweeter. Try? Wanna try a try, baby? Thumbs to the side. All right. Last okay, one. next up we got Homemade We Love For You by J Sherry Delights Legend Cakes and Cookies. Here we have Cornflakes Crunchy with Premium Butter. First impression is a lot of cornflakes. Mm. Two thumbs up straight. Mm. So good. So good. Perfect amount of sweetness. Perfect crunch. Perfect crunch, yum. Perfect size. Seems pretty fresh. Very fresh. Yep, highly recommend. Dude, yep. Okay, this is our first Petronas that we're going to. Looks really big from outside. They have Dunkin' Donuts, Subway, Four Fingers. Dang, they ball Donald, in. Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay, I think we need to break the one each one here. Dude. My goodness. How do we pick? How do we pick? Jom Sokong Project Local Kabangan. How do you say that? Kabangan. Kabangan kita. I love that. Remember at the start of the video, I said my friend bought me that salted egg cornflake? This was it. <gasps> you found it! I did! It's here! <laughs> Which tickle your fancy? Everything. It oh all looks gosh. really, really good. This is gonna be hard, guys. Daka? That okay, Magase. Okay, so guys, I feel like Petronas is probably leading the way in the most varieties. We saw so much stuff. It was overwhelming how many things were there. First up, we have sambal goreng ibu, sambal tempe. Yeah, you gotta eat it with the ikamblis and everything. This is what it looks like. Mmm. Sweet. Spicy, a little chewy, a little, crunchy. a little crunchy too at the same time. Got a lot going on. Mm -hmm. I was actually gonna say like this would actually be nice. Almost does its own little mini naslamat kind of flavoring. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. For econ beliefs, it's, this is good for me. Next up, we have Dilonet. Dile doesn't sound very right. I'm saying it wrong. I'm sure. I'm so. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering. So I'm sorry. Dilonek. Dilonek. Okay. It's a pasty biscuit clapper. What it is, which is coconut biscuit. I've never had this before. Oh, really? No, this is gonna push your mind. Mm. Oh, wow, good, huh? It's so light, as if I didn't be dense, but it's so light and crispy. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is amazing. I would 100% give this a thumbs up because you know why? It has the perfect amount of sweetness. Next up, 
we got Hue Makmur Traditional. So this is like the real deal. Mm. <laughs> that was good, though. Really so much good. better than mine. Definite thumbs up. I have two thumbs up. Where? Ah. Ooh. Pisang salai. Doesn't that mean smoked, mom? Probably. Dude, we like 100% have to try this. Okay, Shell, we found two things. Uh, really interesting stuff I've never tried in my life before. Um, it is banana chips with salted egg. I've had a lot of salted things, but not banana I've chips. I've never had anything banana flavored. Hmm. Okay, okay. They're more like like plantain chips. Mmm. It's not sweet banana. It's like plantain chips, which is savory. But they're cut really, really thin, which is nice. I'm the point. It's a little bit competing flavors for me. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on. But I like the thinness and I like the crunchiness a lot. I would give it a thumbs up. I like it. Okay, um, next up. We're really going bananas today. Bananas. Pisang salai. As far as I understand, salai means smoked. smoked. That's what, when I saw it, I was like, am I just misremembering what salai means? This, Ooh. this though, does not look smoked. This looks very interesting. Yeah, very, very interesting. So, I'm, cheers. I'm mildly concerned. Mmm. Wow. Not bad. Look up. My taste buds are really confused right mm -hmm. now. What it said on them, on here, is 100% true. It's crispy, chewy, and yummy. Because it is crispy when you bite, but when you're chewing it, it's kind of chewy. It dissolves a little. A little bit sweet. I actually like this. I think I'm going to give it two thumbs up. Because not only tastes good and everything's good, it's innovative. There's something that I don't have other places, and I like that. I say one thumbs up. It's good. I would actually seek this out to have again because it's very um, unique. Baby? It's not sadap. It's not oh, sadap yet. We haven't had anything sadap yet. I mean, and everything, then, everything's been sadap. That's right. Sorry, bang. I'm not blanche trimming the pan. Blanche trimming the pan. Yeah, Oi, terima kasih, bang. Terima kasih. Hello. <laughs> so nanti kalau hujan, ni jangan pakai baju pesanan tau. Oh iya ke? Yeah. Oh, okay, ini boleh protect ah? Yeah, this one will protect you and your passenger lah. Okay, terima kasih, bang. Okay. Saya duduk dalam ya, bang. Okay. First up, we got Spigo's Happy Nuts Plus Seed. Uh, what kind of biscuit is this? It doesn't say. It's nuts and seeds, I yeah, guess. Yeah, nuts and seeds, but there's a name for this. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, there's a name for it. I just can't remember what the name is. This is what it looks oh, like. Oh, it's sweet. Mm hmm, it's sweet. I was expecting mm. it to be savory. Wow. I, I, I like this um, biscuit cracker cookie, whatever you call it. Oh, it's still wiping out. Screen. Oh, so nice. <laughs> okay. So, uh, basically, I would say um, if it was less sweet, I would have given it a thumbs up. Because it's more sweet, I'll give it thumbs to the little bit to the corner. I would say thumbs up for me. So fam, this is actually our last video in Malaysia before going back to the States. So they're feeling a little emotional. We're kind of sad, not only about leaving the trip, but also sad to say goodbye to our car back here, our flux car. Um, we have been driving this car for five weeks now and the ride was perfect you know because flux does like a full maintenance to make sure the car is in a perfect condition before handing it to us and yeah yeah we there's one thing i needed to make sure which is to pour petrol so that we can drive the car but besides that it was immaculate so for expats or people like us that come to malaysia for weeks at a time this is literally perfect because you don't have to worry about taking out a car loan and it's an all-inclusive service and the most convenient thing is the concierge all right Ready to go get back the car? Yeah. So our Flux Concierge guy is here and it's time. Here you go bro. Alright. Thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
I love their concierge service because they send you the car wherever you want it and they pick it up wherever you want it from. So the convenience factor is so good.